Hello. The following slides give a brief overview of the current work that the VMD's enforcement team are doing in relation to a growing number of canine fertility clinics in the UK. This soundbite will give an overview of what these clinics are doing and why the VMD are interested. We will also give an example of a recent case. Since the end of 2018, the VMD, alongside DEFRA Investigation Services, has been investigating the rapid increase of canine fertility clinics springing up across the country. This is a growth industry which involves the artificial insemination of bitches using stud dogs. These stud dogs are often provided by the clinic's owner. Predominantly, designer breeds are involved with a particular interest in bulldogs. These are often used as status symbols, hence their popularity. The VMD has a keen interest in these clinics as more often than not, illegal veterinary medicines are involved. These are used to treat the dogs during insemination, to help induce labour and to help with caesarean sections. There is a large financial reward for clinic owners with puppies being worth upwards of £5,000. This gives an ideal opportunity to launder money. In order to tackle this growing problem, we have adopted a multi-agency approach which allows us to tackle a wide range of regulatory breaches. During recent search warrants, we've enlisted the assistance of a large number of other law enforcement agencies. This has included the Royal College of Veterinary Surgeons, the Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals and local area trading standards. We've also set up a monthly intelligence meeting with these agencies to discuss ongoing cases and to share intelligence. One of our recent cases involved a clinic which had been set up in the southwest of England. Set up within a dedicated extension within a private dwelling, services offered included artificial insemination, semen chilling and whelping. During a multi-agency search, a large number of illegal veterinary medicines were seized from the premise. Animal welfare issues were also identified in the form of ear cropping. This is something which is illegal in the UK. Following the search and an interview under caution, the case was presented to the Crown Prosecution Service for the consideration of prosecution. The individual pleaded guilty to five counts of the possession of illegal veterinary medicines and was fined just over £2,000. As always, any non-compliance with the veterinary medicines regulations should be reported to the VMD enforcement team. This can be done by emailing enforcement at vmd.gov.uk. Thank you for listening. The VMD welcomes any questions that you might have. To ask your questions, please go to www.slido.com and use the event code 96607. Slido will be open for your questions until Friday the 20th of November. Responses will be published to your questions by Friday the 27th of November. If this presentation hasn't met your accessibility needs, please email director.support at vmd.gov.uk. Thank you.